Faith by Edward Roland Sill Anyone who has ridden across the continent on a train must marvel at the faith and imagination of the engineers who constructed the road. The topographical advantages seized, the grades made easy of ascent, the curves and straight stretches planned, the tunnels so carefully calculated that workmen, beginning on opposite sides of a mountain, met in the middle, and all this visualized and thought out before the actual work was begun. Faith has such foresight, such courage, whether it toils actively or can merely bide its time. The treetop high above the barren field, rising beyond the night's gray folds of mist, rest stirless where the upper air is sealed, to perfect silence by the faint moon kissed. But the low branches, drooping to the ground, sway to and fro as sways funeral plume while from their restless depths low whispers sound. We fear, we fear the darkness and the gloom. Dim forms beneath us pass and reappear, and mournful tongues are menacing us here. Then from the topmost bough falls calm reply. Hush, hush, I see the coming of the morn. Swiftly the silent night is passing by, and in her bosom rosy dawn is born. Tis but your own dim shadows that ye see, tis but your own low moans that trouble ye. So life stands, with a twilight world around, faith turned serenely to the steadfast sky, still answering the heart that sweeps the ground, sobbing in fear and tossing restlessly. Hush, hush! The dawn breaks o'er the eastern sea, tis but thine own dim shadow troubling thee.